Hi everybody, it's Irene from Brainstorm Makers. And I'd love to be able to tell you that we had a miraculous healing and all the tomato plants are back. But that would be a fib. These are the tomato plants and a cucumber plant and something that I thought was another cucumber plant but it was dark and I was just grabbing things which actually turns out to be a cantaloupe plant <laughs> actually two of them that we rescued by running them into the house really quickly actually it was I think the night that actually everything else froze except for brassicas because we just were concerned that it was going to be so cold and these have been living in my dining room and I'm sure they've been very sad in there and I'm tired of them being in my dining room. So we're back up in the mid thirties at night, which means we should be able to keep them warm enough. That's the theory anyway. And I can't keep them in the, in the dining room all winter because there's simply not enough light in there and I'd have to put in grow lights and yeah, at some point the cat would move in because she likes to lay under the grow lights. So yeah, no. So today I brought back all my tomatoes and my <laughs> cantaloupe and my cucumber. I forgot I'd even started a cucumber, I mean a cantaloupe. I wonder if the one that was in there was actually a cantaloupe instead of a cucumber. Could be, I had actually tried to start two, but I'm not sure, I'll have to check my notes. At any rate, let me take you to an up close here and you can see what's been going on since that fateful night. So here's the tomatoes from the dining room. Um, here's my little seedlings that still need to be transplanted. There's the pak choy. That's a cucumber. I actually just took off one leaf on that cucumber today because it looked like it had powdery mildew on that one leaf. And I was like, oh no, it's the only place I'm seeing it. So we're gonna get that off in the theory that we can prevent spread. This is a cantaloupe. This is Hannah's choice and so is this. My onions and leeks, more cabbage, more tomatoes, the dead stuff. <laughs> These are the beets that were slightly damaged the other day. I have trimmed off the worst of the leaves in here. The rest of them seem to be doing great. This little bundle of joy over here is radishes. I won't say they could care less, but they can care less. They're doing great. They're loving it over here and uh, they're doing great. So I grew radishes in here last spring. So why not this fall? We'll see how they like the uh, slightly lower light levels right now. But so far so good. They seem very happy. Over here we still have our amazing lettuce plants. We have had a ton, I think Henry's actually been keeping count of salads of these guys. Just a ton. Uh, we need to eat Swiss chard again. <laughs> it's coming to get us. This is the one remaining cucumber plant that did not get frozen that one night. It was very weird. I'm not complaining, uh, but it does have a pretty nice, let's see where if I can show my sew it here. Yeah, there's a cucumber right there. So we are back to having hope for cucumbers in here. Um, Henry did eat the ones that were on the other plants that got frosted because the cucumbers themselves were fine. It was just the plants that were dead. So he ate them the next day and he said, it assures me they were delicious. And of course the cabbage back there, it could, as you always, it could care less. <laughs> it's happy, it's getting water, that's all it cares. So what I'm going to do this afternoon is I'm <laughs> debating what to plant up. I have, we, here's, here's the buckets that had the um, sweet potatoes in them. And I've already cleared out two of them completely and one most of the way. As you can see, the, there's a pile of dead stuff over here. And that gives me the ability 
to plant up. And I'm thinking about potting up, hmm, thinking about potting up maybe a tomato or two and something else. I'm not sure whether I'll try, let's see, there is room in the front here, but I actually wanted to get these to the point they were cleared out because when I'm done with these, I'll probably plant carrots in one and I'm not sure, maybe spinach in the other one. That would be a good plan. I've always heard the recommendation that spinach is daylight sensitive in the sense of uh, number of hours. And they were recommending that you not plant at this time of year because we're still getting shorter days and we'll be getting shorter days for, I wanna say it's about 50 days or something. Once we hit winter solstice, of course, our daylight starts to increase and the plants like that. I'm gonna set up and decide what to transplant because I might as well. I've got three empty pots for sure and actually I've got two more over here too. I think I will pot up some things and I'll put everything down here relatively close into the heater. Might as well take advantage of it and see if we can keep them alive when we get cold, cold nights. We're supposed to go down lower again but only I'm seeing 30 in about another week. It's at the end of my 10 day forecast, so in about another 10 days. So we'll see, but let's just go ahead and get this potted up and see what happens. We won't know till we've, no. Well, I made a decision. <sighs> Come on, bug, out of here. <laughs> Move. We have these bizarre bugs around here. They're harmless as far as I can tell. But they're just annoying sometimes. <laughs> there we go. So what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to plant the cantaloupes into this one. So that's my first move. That's the first plant up. I'm going to move this guy. over here and second one is going to be here and that is going to be hmm I think that is going to be ah, decisions got one cucumber there maybe I'll try another cucumber here I'll try this guy and see how he does this is a tasty jade. I love these things because of multiple reasons. They are parthenogenic, they're self-fertile, which means you can plant one by itself and it'll do its own thing. They are wonderful because they do not get bitter and funkydelic. And uh, some cucumbers will get very bitter and nasty in the middle of the summer. These guys don't. For a climate like ours, which can get incredibly hot, this is a great choice. Okay, I now still have a couple of other buckets. So I think I'm going to choose to plant up some tomatoes. I am loving these buckets and I'm very much hoping to get more. Maybe I'll ask for some for Christmas. It doesn't sound silly, does it? <laughs> doesn't everybody ask for things like more giant flower pots for Christmas? I'm literally just grabbing a couple. I don't even know what the labels are on these because they don't have them. I need to, uh, they were never intended to be moved around the way they were. So I wound up with some unlabeled plants, which is like against my religion. But there's a very good chance that I have notes that will tell me what they are. So we're hoping that I have notes that will tell me what they are. So I really don't like guessing. All right, set this guy down in there. Smush and bury him a bit. And then we'll move the dirt in the other direction and we'll bury somebody else over here. Taking off the bottom, move. pinching off these little leaves here. There's no re reason to keep those on. I'm also gonna take off the little sprouts that are trying to form in the crotch of the plant. I need to dig this hole deeper so that I can sink this sucker deeper than he is right now. There we go, that's good. 
<laughs> and then I'll bring some of that dirt back. Now, if I'd been sensible, I would have just poured it into one of the pots here, but of course I wasn't sensible, so. <laughs> Could be too easy. Got some sections in here that are old root balls that I haven't gotten to dry out completely yet, so. They have plenty of dirt in them, but they don't, they're not loose. There we go. There's two tomatoes transplanted. And let's see what else we're gonna do. I suppose I should do at least one more bucket of tomatoes. Let's see what we have. <sighs> I could either do somebody that I know what they are or somebody that I don't have a clue. <laughs> Such an adventure. Okay. Now I'm gonna move i going to move my beets a little bit. And go get another pot. I'm going to transplant these little guys. I know what these are. These are Prezano. And I was really, really impressed with the Prezanos that were in the Dutch buckets before they froze to death. They were covered with fruit. They are known for doing really well in greenhouse environments. And these guys I was planning to pot up at least a week ago and it didn't happen. First because a week ago we were scrambling frantically to keep everything from freezing to death. But uh, let's rip these guys apart. Uh, there we go. And then we'll plant this guy nice and deep because he's really <laughs> scraggly. Especially since we're messing up their roots, we want to give them the opportunity to create more. Another sprout that's trying to do its thing. We don't want that. So now we have a bucket full of Pisanos. This pot, which had um, sweet potatoes in it and has been cleaned out, I added some more potting soil because it was is seriously depleted, will now grow up to be Granadero. Now, Granadero is another tomato that was reported to be very good in greenhouses, which is why we tried it, to be honest. It's supposed to be a heavy producer and all that other kind of stuff, so we'll see. Um, I don't think I had any Granaderos. Well, I may have had one in the, uh, in the Dutch buckets, but they are, as they say, toast. So, so let's see what we can do here. Okay, there we go. There's one. I'm gonna take off bottom leaf just like the other guys and all this fuzz that's here is going to grow up to be roots I'm also taking off the sprouts and the crotches of the plants there we go okay awesome awesome Okay, now all I need to do is water these guys and we'll be ready to go. Whew. As you can see, Jack is working hard. <laughs> he has been washing his toes most of the time, except he chose to be back where the uh, sweet potatoes had been before, instead of up with me. <sighs> okay. Well, that's about it for today. I do need to transplant up some other stuff, but I have more stuff to do in the house today too. So that's about it. If you liked what you saw today, please hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you know when we do something else crazy. Because as we've talked about it before a million times, we've had lots of setbacks, but we've learned an awful lot. So it's not a loss. To be a uh, setback is only a real loss when you haven't learned a darn thing. So hope everybody has a great week 
and we'll see you later. Bye. Go, 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 go